Hi everyone, today let's learn to use handwaving.net's latest new subscriber feature for block and profile drafting. This will let you take any draft on the site using it as a profile draft to expand it with a large number of different weave structures. So let's practice with draft number 47380. This could be any draft on the site, this just happens to be the one that I've chosen. So there it is. Let's click on it. This is the draft detail page and it has a new button in the interface called profiles. So when you click on profiles it gives you the option to use this draft as a profile. Now you go to a profile draft page where you can choose create block draft and this presents a list of block weaves, some of which are unit weaves, but and you can choose any one that you want. So for this example let's choose summer and winter the first form of it and there it is at the bottom. The block draft got produced by expanding this profile in a summer and weave structure. So let's try it again with a different structure. This time let's pick maybe broken twill four ends and there it is. So you'll notice that I chose a two shaft pattern for the example and when I expanded it using broken 12 four ends those two shafts get multiplied by the four ends resulting in an eight shaft pattern. So what this means is that unless your loom has an awful lot of shafts, drafts with fewer shafts and treadles are going to work better as profile drafts. So let's expand it one more time. Click create block draft again and we'll choose an entirely different structure this time maybe satin five ends and there it is and that results in a ten shaft pattern. So you'll notice here there's an option to invert the pattern in the background and that in the tie up the, the, some of the cells are pattern and some of the cells are background in a block draft so if we click this it actually reverses them in the tie up and then the whole draft is redrawn showing that so that could be a useful feature depending on how you want the final draft to look. There's also a reverse colors option and so this dark color that's across the top and the light color that's across the side if you click reverse colors it swaps them and you can do both at the same time if you want. So after you produce a block draft that you like there's an option to download it. You can click this download button here and this gives you four choices. You can download the profile draft that you produced it from, you can download the block draft that you created and you can download images of each of those things too. So if you have your own weaving software the options to download the WIFs are useful because then you can load it somewhere else or you can load it back into handweaving.net for something. And if you just want to print it uh, maybe, to, maybe to weave off the printout or something then these image options are useful. You can also post these on websites um, or on blogs etc. So that's download. So let's do a different example now. The profile expansion will also handle drafts that are colored, meaning more than two colors, color and weave, etc. So let's get one like that. We'll choose number 63500. There's a nice color and weave pattern from Donut. So we'll click that and now we'll choose profiles use draft as profile again and there it is. So let's expand this and this time we'll choose, I don't know, maybe a broken 12 four ends and there it is. And you can see that the colors from the profile were actually incorporated into the threaded draft as part of the pattern. Now, sometimes you have to play around a little bit to find numbers of colors that work with the counts of threads in the weave structure but this is a pretty powerful technique for producing interesting drafts. So let's do a different draft now. Let's do one that itself was expanded as a block draft. So there are about a thousand drafts on the site that are block drafts and we will choose number 68241. There it is. 
So this draft itself, it doesn't make sense to use this as a profile because it was a profile at one point. The author who created it expanded a profile, it looks like with a broken tool structure to make this. So when there are drafts that are already blocked drafts, the site knows that. And when you click the profiles button, you get a different option here. Instead of use draft as profile, now it says use drafts profile. And this will actually extract the profile from the draft and let you expand it with a different structure, which is neat. So there, there's the drafts original profile. Now if I click create block draft, I can choose a structure like before. And for this, let's choose maybe summer and winter again. And there it is. Now that's shown kind of large. So we also offer, offer the option to have the profile draft repeated, which it is by default, or you can take that off. So there's just one repeat of the profile draft. And now the result is a little smaller because there's only one repeat of it too. And you can also play with the size slider here. If you want to make things bigger, you can you can do it with that, and if you can make them smaller again, too. So to find all the block drafts on the site, if you want to do more profile extraction, we added a new search that's under drafts, search for drafts, and the very last option is the new one, block drafts. This shows all the block drafts on the site. And currently, there are over a 1,000. Let's just choose the first one here. And we'll expand it as a profile. And now you get the use drafts profile option because again, it knows that this is a block draft that's already been expanded from a profile. So there's the drafts original profile. And now we can choose create block draft and we can expand this using any structure on the list. So you'll see as you scroll through this list, we've got the pattern here, the background next to it that shows what the blocks look like. And then we've got the name and following that, it shows how many shafts and treadles the result will be. And it also shows how many warp threads and how many weft threads. So for this one, if we picked a satin five ends, we'd end up with a 15 shaft pattern. It would have 510 warp threads, 510 weft threads and 15 treadles. So let's do that. That's a pretty big, pretty big result, but there it is. <laughs> And again, we can make it a little bit smaller with the slider if I want to see more of it at once. Okay, let's expand it one more time. And this time we'll choose this twill variant, five ends. So here's what it looks like. And there's its tie up. And the tie up for this pattern actually contains duplicate columns and duplicate rows. And so what that means is if we took the duplicates out and we rewrote the threading and we rewrote the treadling, you could weave it with fewer shafts and fewer treadles. So when that's the case, there's a button in the interface compact to 12 shafts, 12 treadles, which will, which will do that. So let's click it. And now you can see that the threading was rewritten the tie-up is smaller and the treadling's rewritten, but now you can weave the draft with fewer shafts. So for all of the profile expansions, you'll only see that button when it applies, but it can be pretty useful. So let's look at one more thing. There's an upload profile button here. This will let you upload your own draft if you have it in WIF format that's not on handweaving.net to expand here as a profile. So let's click that and I'll choose one. There, that's the one I wanted. Okay, so now we'll expand that as a block draft. And I think I will choose maybe Broken Twill again. And there it is. So let's expand it one more time. And this time let's choose maybe a five thread huck lace. And there it is. So we can do the invert pattern and background thing one more time. It shows up better with this, dra with this weave structure. And lastly, 
there's another spot where you can get to this for uploading your own drafts. And if you click the drafts menu, you'll see profile drafting here. That will take you to upload a profile with. And also, it's underneath your drafts too, the same thing. So that's it. That's all about profile drafting on handweaving.net. We have plans to add a lot more features in this area and also to add more unit and block weaves. So if there's a particular weave we don't have yet that you'd like to see, let us know. And thank you and have fun.